Central lines, or central venous catheters, are a mainstay and essential for several types of ICU shock treatment. A central venous catheter is a plastic tube that's inserted percutaneously and sits at the cavoatrial junction, and is essential for administration of vasoactive medications like norepinephrine or vasopressin, and can also be used to measure central venous pressures. In the surviving sepsis guidelines, there's a strong indication for central venous catheter placement to measure central venous pressure and to measure central venous oxygen saturation within the first six hours of resuscitation. This is based on the Rivers Early Goal Directed Therapy Study, which showed that a bundle including this improved mortality for sepsis patients. That being said, central venous pressure is a very poor predictor of fluid responsiveness. In a meta-analysis, central venous pressure was shown to correlate poorly with volume status, with patients with excessive volume deficits having high central venous pressures and excessive volume excess having low central venous pressures also. In fact, the area under the receiver operator curve for central venous pressure ranged between 0.23 and 0.68. As a reminder, a receiver operator curve compares the sensitivity and 1 minus the specificity of a test. Line C represents a coin flip with the area under the receiver operator curve of 0.5, whereas line A represents an ideal test. In certain situations, CVP has been shown to be worse than a coin flip in predicting fluid responsiveness. In summary, central venous catheters are essential in the management of shock and needed for administration of vasoactive medications. They're strongly indicated in early sepsis treatment, but they are very poor predictors of fluid responsiveness, particularly late in sepsis treatment.